Do you dream of one day having the perfect family, but you're worried about all the things that could go wrong? Worried that your bundle of joy might grow up to develop a learning disability? Poor eyesight, asthma, acne, big ears, or even worse, red hair? Well, worry no more. I'm bioengineer John, and thanks to the brilliant but morally grey scientific advancements made in China, bioengineering is now available worldwide. Here at Babies by Design, we use the safest and most advanced genetic engineering techniques to ensure that your baby will grow up healthy, happy, and perfect. In the unlikely situation where inherited traits from either parent aren't suitable, then we can choose from a wide list of genetic templates from all across the globe, including Scandinavia. Boy, they sure know how to make them over there. All the required forms are available on our website, free of charge. Just be sure to have these completed and ready before your final consultation especially Form 12B. I cannot stress enough how important it is that you have 12B pre-filled before your consultation. Now stop worrying about what could go wrong and feel safe in knowing that starting your perfect family is only a consultation away. And remember, we're not playing God. We're simply giving the miracle of life a little helping hand. Results may vary. Bioengineers and lab technicians are not doctors. Any and all medical related issues should be first discussed with a qualified medical practitioner before speaking with us at Babies by Design. Oh, hi. Um, Abigail and Sam, yeah. pleasure to finally meet you both in person. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Um, headaches. We can engineer the freckles off a of ginger, but we can't seem to cure headaches. <laughs> uh, I think I'm missing something. Oh, my lab coat. Nice. You know, the only reason I wear this is because marketing data has shown that um, people are more trusting and um, open to suggestion when they're being spoken to by someone wearing a love coat. Anyway, uh, you both must be very excited. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you again for seeing us, Doctor. <laughs> ah, um, I will just stop you there. Um, I'm not technically a doctor. Well, I do have a doctorate, but uh, for legal reasons we're advised not to refer to ourselves as doctors. Here's all the paperwork you asked us to bring in. Ah, excellent. How exciting for you both. We're going to have a baby. Uh, maybe a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, just to confirm, I mean, this is perfectly safe, yeah? Uh, sorry? Oh, uh, safety. Right, okay. Um, now I understand your hesitation. Uh, I can assure you both this is all perfectly safe and now, completely legal. Your child will be healthy, disease-free, disorder-free, immune to almost anything, and um, they won't even be allergic to gluten. Uh -huh. Oh no. Okay, so it appears you haven't yet filled out Form 12B, uh, Desired Genetic Attributes via Hereditary Allocation. Oh, we weren't too sure what to write for that one, so we figured it best to fill it out with you, here. Uh, this, this can be a very personal form to fill out, which is why we emphasise the need to fill it out before coming in. Um, look, this is where you list genetic traits and behaviours and attributes that your child will inherit from either of you or from a genetic template chosen based on sample availability and genetic compatibility. We can go over it now. That's okay. Uh, okay, um, let me just find a pen. Sam, that reminds me. I found out that Tanaka's kid was from a template. Amy robbed Tanaka from down the street. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Susan told me yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. The kid's got blonde hair. Really? Mm-hmm. The Tanakas. Blonde hair. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like a template baby to me. It's very common. Um, let's just start with the simple stuff, I guess. Uh, I see here you've checked that you would like to have a girl. That's great. Uh, more female voices in the world. Exactly. A strong, powerful little woman. We're hoping the current trend of women taking over the workplace continues as she grows up. Um, okay then. Uh, height. How tall would you like her to be? 
I think she should be tall. I mean, I want her to stand out in the room. She should have a commanding presence. Yeah, not too tall, though. I mean, boys don't like dating tall girls. Well, that's true. We don't want her to grow up an outcast. Uh, not to interrupt, but I fear you guys might be overthinking this just a little bit. <laughs> You're right. Besides, we don't know if she'll even want to date boys. <laughs> Do we? Is that something we can select? Doc? Uh, again, I'm not a doctor. Bioengineer. And secondly, no. Sexual orientation is not something that can be genetically controlled. Oh, okay. That's cool. Not that we mind either way, do we? Maybe? No. No. No, who knows? No matter who Ashley decides to love, we will love her unconditionally. But, um, having a gay child is still very popular. Um, let's just move on, shall we? Um, I'm just going to list the Scandinavian template as your preference there. Um, that will give you a tall, but not too tall, genetic marker to work with. A very popular template for height. Great! Um, where is Scandinavia exactly? Uh, Sweden, Norway, that area. Oh, Norway? Pretty people over there. Mm. Excellent template to use. Uh, Norwegians are quite pale, aren't they? No, I'm not too sure. We want her to be white, but not too white, of course. Mm, we don't want her to be as pale as her mother. <laughs> Excuse me? When she wears red lipstick, she looks like Pennywise the Clown. <laughs> wow. Uh, we, we can use... We can go with another template for uh, skin tone if required. Oh, really? Fantastic. <laughs> now we have to be careful. We don't want the child to be too... dark. I mean, it is still going to be our child. We don't want it to look adopted. Huh? Mm, adopted children aren't really, like, super trendy anymore. Um, A nice, pale, olive complexion. I have a friend who's Portuguese. Beautiful skin tone. How about Spanish? Mm. Okay there, Abby. I understand what you are saying, sadly. Um, you would like her to be somewhat ethnically ambiguous. Uh, a mixed race skin tone is actually very popular. But you do need to be cautious, because if the if the genetic mix is too heavy on the template side, then it can lead to Suspicions of infidelity on the mother's side. Only if she's been drinking. Excuse me? You remember your Christmas office party? Hmm? You had a couple of drinks? Couldn't take your eyes off your Rodriguez from marketing all night? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Uh, well, your comments about drinking does bring us to the next question, actually. Um, is there any history of addiction in either of your families? His mother. She drinks like a flask. Uh Firstly, that's not true. Hmm? Secondly, it's not like a flask. It's like a fish. And the right doc. I'm not a doctor. It's flask. Fish don't drink water, they live in it. Well, technically a flask doesn't drink it either. It just holds the liquid. The mother is the one drinking. Exactly. What? Why are you taking their side on this doc? Are you supposed to be neutral? No. You're thinking of journalists. And again, I'm not a doctor. Look, I'm just going to listen to the genetic template again for that one, okay? You really should have filled this out before. Okay. Let's just have a look at the physical attributes, shall we? Um, hands. Definitely is. My. We're having a girl. And you have girlier hands than I do. Oh, there it is. They're not girly, okay? You just have freakishly masculine hands. Look, okay, let's just go with the template again on that one, shall we? Um, look, we're using a lot of templates here so far, right? I know you mentioned it earlier, but are you sure you wouldn't just rather adopt at this stage? Don't you? <laughs> we don't want to adopt. We want to have our own baby. Is it though? Anyway, next question. Uh, hair. Uh, not hers. One drop of rain and poof, frizzy mess. <laughs> now it is. I don't want him to be bald by 25. <laughs> template it is. Okay, uh, ears. Not his, unless we want to have to trim them every two days. Templates. Uh, legs. Sure, if you wanted to look like a corgi. Templates. Uh, feet. Does that include smell? Templates. Uh, no. Just look at it. Templates. 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 Not a doctor. Templates. Templates. Not a doctor. Templates. 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 Okay, guys, stop. Now look, it's it's not uncommon for couples to have 
difficulties during this stage of the genetic engineering process. There are a lot of things to consider when designing, sorry, making a child. But I'm happy to say that the form is now complete. It is? It is. I just need to send this off and in a couple of weeks time you guys will be having a baby. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. <laughs> Congratulations guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll, I'll be in touch when everything's ready. Thanks doc. We shall. Hey. We're just about to pick up another new member of our family. We're getting a puppy. Oh, that's wonderful. A labradoodle. Of course.